Doctor Who is going to Disney Plus. Oh, and there's a new logo for the show going into the 60th anniversary and beyond. When the rumor first appeared, many were skeptical. Now it's confirmed. Doctor Who is going to Disney Plus in a new deal between the BBC and Disney branded television. Following Jodie Whittaker's last episode of Doctor Who, The Power of the Doctor, plans for the future of the franchise are already underway. Russell T Davies was not joking when he said he'd get to work as soon as the regeneration was out of the way. This is an exciting announcement. I know many of you have questions, never fear, we'll do our best to answer them all for you. Stay here for the most up to date news about Doctor Who, because that's what we're here for. Greetings everyone, I'm Jack and welcome to TARDIS Central. Before we dive into the latest news, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest news like you're doing now, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at TARDIS Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Universe. But as always, we invite you to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Because if you're talking about Doctor Who, we want to hear about it. Get commenting. So getting straight to the point, the BBC will still broadcast Doctor Who in the UK and Ireland. At the same time, international markets can now watch the program via Disney+. Plus. Well, I say now, it'll be in 2023. The service is accessible in more than 150 markets around the world, i.e. locations. The new episodes will premiere on the BBC and Disney Plus in late 2023 for fans worldwide. Currently, we look forward to the return of David Tennant and Catherine Tate for three special episodes of Doctor Who, which is, of course, the 60th anniversary of a franchise. And of course, we already know that Shooty will take over as the 15th Doctor in late 2023. Therefore, his first outing, Series 14, will also take place on Disney Plus for those international markets we just mentioned. This does look to be the end of Doctor Who on BBC America, though. The account did make a sad tweet about the time coming to an end today, so I guess it seals the deal on that one. Now, this is a rather unique partnership. The goal is to turn Doctor Who into a global franchise for UK audiences around the world, or rather, all audiences around the world. In the age of so many media giants, this was clearly on the minds of BBC executives some time now. Disney Plus is being touted as the exclusive home for new seasons of Doctor Who outside the UK and Ireland. Incoming Doctor Who actor Shooty made the announcement this morning. He appeared live with Kelly and Ryan, which I think is a US program I've never watched before. Both partners, either BBC and Disney, have aligned under returning showrunner Russell T. Davis's bold new vision, which takes control of the TARDIS in 2023. Of course, we know Russell was responsible for Doctor Who's revival in 2005 and he's somewhat credited for propelling the show into one of TV's biggest hits. Of course, we had to get a new comment from Davis, he had the following to say during his interview in the BBC article. I love this show, and this is the best of both worlds. With the vision and joy of the BBC and Disney Plus together, we can launch the TARDIS all around the planet, reaching a new generation of fans while keeping our traditional home firmly on the BBC in the UK. Charlotte Moy, who serves as the BBC's Chief Content Officer, said the following. We are thrilled to announce with the exciting global partnership with Disney, with the perfect partners to bring this very British show to the rest of the world. Ross T. Davis' vision for Dog 2 has always been out of this world, and we're committed to ensuring that audiences across the globe get the opportunity to enjoy the Doctor's epic adventure, with the scale and ambition they deserve. Joining the force of Disney will elevate the show to greater heights and reach new audiences, so it's an extremely exciting time for fans in the UK and across the world. Disney will be very excited about this. It gives their platform content outside their original work. An entire new sci-fi franchise that isn't Star Wars or something connected to the Marvel. Given the uniqueness and long history of Doctor Who, it would also come with a returning audience. Many fans outside the UK and Ireland have struggled to access Doctor Who. Simul casting has also been an issue in the past as it was with the power of the Doctor. What we mean here is the power of Doctor Ed in the UK, and then American fans had to wait like 4 hours to watch it, at which point there were spoilers everywhere. A Disney Plus executive said the following, and I'll read some of their quotes to you now as you might be interested. We're excited to have the opportunity to bring new seasons of this beloved franchise exclusively to Disney Plus, and introduce the show to the next generation of audiences in more than 150 markets around the world. The series is a perfect addition to our ever-growing catalogue of global content, that continues to make Disney Plus the home for exceptional storytelling. That was Elisa Bowen, the president of Disney Plus. Doctor Who has captivated the imagination of the families around the world for the past six decades. We are so excited about this collaboration with the BBC and the opportunity to bring the iconic franchise and Ross T. Davis' brilliant vision to life for a huge new global audience. Grab your sonic screwdrivers and prepare to travel through time and space. That's A.O. Davis, president of Disney branded television. Unfortunately, I don't have a sonic screwdriver to grab, but you get the gist. 
Now, Bad Wolf produces Doc 2 in association with BBC Studios Productions. Most of you probably do know that. As such, the co-founders had something both to say. Jane Tranter and Julie Garden also serve as executive producers on Doctor Who, alongside showrunner Russell T Davies. They said, For Doctor Who to have the backing of two of the most innovative and respected media organisations in the world is a testament to the unique drive and vision at the heart of this show. Bad Wolf are beyond delighted to be once again working with a genius that is Russell T Davies. And with the exciting new partnership between the BBC and Disney, we can together reach to even greater heights producing from Wolf Studio Wales ambitious stories through time and space for audiences across the globe. So here's our analysis on this breaking news for today. This is a good move for the BBC. It's also a very strategic one for Disney. Doctor Who needs to evolve as a franchise if it wants to survive. When we look at the overall media space right now, it's packed. Disney Plus is a giant of Marvel and Star Wars, Paramount Plus has Star Trek. All of these franchises have gone global with ease. However, with Doctor Who being a British program, it struggled to break out into international markets in the past. This is the BBC establishing Doctor Who as a global brand. It was originally suggested this path might be the direction they go in, following Bad Wolf taking over creative control of Doctor Who. Disney Plus has over 150 million users as of July 2022. Therefore, this is the perfect opportunity to introduce a whole new audience to the world of Doctor Who, further amplifying the franchise beyond the 60th anniversary specials. Additionally, it also sets up Shooting Gazoire to have his big launch as the 15th Doctor. As we're looking at a global franchise, you've got to wonder how long before we see spin-off shows in development again. Star Wars is no longer just a movie series. Disney Plus has pioneered the new series of The Mandalorian and Andor. Well, at one point, Doctor Who did something similar. A spin-off show about torture and of course the Sarah Jane adventures. How long before we get the River Song show I so desperately need in my life? Oh, and before I forget, as I mentioned at the start, a new Doctor Who logo was released today. This marks a nice blend of modern with a classic twist. Eagle-eyed fans of Doctor Who, who also follow Tardis Central on Twitter, might have noticed the concept come online earlier this month. New episodes of Doctor Who will air in November 2023 as the franchise celebrates its 60th anniversary. Shuji Gatwa will take over the Tardis helm in late 2023 to begin Series 14. For now, we await further news on the ever-expanding world of Doctor Who. And now we open the questions to you all. What do you think of the news? Are you excited about the future of Doctor Who? Or are you a little hesitant about the direction we might be going in for the future? Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. Like always, if you want to keep up to date on the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at TARDIS Central, including me. You can also follow us on social media for daily breaking news on the Doctor Who universe when we get it. For now, I've been Jack here on TARDIS Central. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in our videos later this week. Goodbye.